Hello, Dr. Barnes here. I wanted to speak with you briefly about your final exam. Um, I hope all of you have learned a lot in this course. I know that I have, uh, reading your posts in the discussion forum and in the, uh, especially discussion forum and blogs and also in the reading reviews. Um, I hope this class has been enjoyable for you as well. Um, and, you know, the end of this is the final exam. So, just want to uh, show you some stuff about that. Uh, first question is, uh, how to study for it? That's what I would be concerned with if I were you. Um, I always wanted to know how to study for my exams uh, when, I, when I was an undergraduate. So what you do is you use the lecture notes. Um, the exam is mostly short essays, which is about four sentences, you know, not very much. I just want one sentence on each point uh, or two. Um, that is one or two sentences on each point. So, what points do you make in your, in your essay? Well, you look here at week six. I have to wait for it to open. And I designed the, the uh, essays in the exam and the essay questions um, straight off of the lecture notes. And as you know, the lecture notes include, uh, you know, the reading, and then it also has uh, the outline for my lectures. So, gotta wait for it to load a little bit more. Okay, so I might ask you a question. Who is Paul? And the, the points you need to make in your essay is he's a Pharisee, he's persecuted by the, he persecuted the church and repented, and he was a tent maker. And you can add all the other stuff you know about Paul, but these are the three points that I'm looking for in your essay. So you just need to write one sentence about Paul the Pharisee, uh, maybe talk about his um, commitment to the law of Moses and his uh, zeal to persecute other Jews that do not follow uh, the law of Moses and instead follow Christianity, or in addition to that, follow Christianity. Um, and then also his life as a tent maker, which I talked about in detail in the lecture. So the outline for your essays are here, and if you look at these points and you don't remember offhand uh, when you're studying for your exam, you um, go back to the lectures or to Metzger and look it up, and then that's how you study for this exam. So it's not that difficult. There's a lot of stuff to remember because we're looking at weeks 6 through 10. That's four weeks um, of lectures. So um, it's not too much information, um, I, I think. Okay. So that's how you study for the exam. What I would do is print out um, all four lecture notes and uh, just work on memorizing these points and if you don't know about a point or you're unsure um, you use the uh, resources that you have. Um, in the exam you're not going to be allowed to use anything. Uh, you can't use a book, can't use your notes. Um, I am allowing you to use Word. Hopefully you'll be able to access Word where, where you are. Uh, that's just so you can write out your essay without worrying about the computer crash, you know, the browser crashing or hitting the back button accidentally or something like that. I really don't want you to lose your work because it's very frustrating. Um, the other thing about the exam is you need to uh, line up a proctor. We use Proctor Now at Wayland. I made an announcement about that. This remote proctor.com. Um, it's not letting me highlight it, but it's right there. Um, it looks to me like you could probably um, just sign in and do do all the good stuff about getting uh, getting set up with them and take the exam immediately. Um, the exam is open for six days between August 3rd and August 9th. Um, I really think you should take it all at one time, um, but if you have any issue and you need to uh, go back to your 
Proctor Center and finish it, uh, please let me know and I will be available to you and help you access the exam if you need help. So, because you never know what happens uh, the second time you try to access it. Um, don't worry about the length of time that you have for the exam. Um, I tell you to schedule four hours for it. Most of you will finish in an hour and a half. Um, that is, uh, those of you who are used to using a computer and typing, uh, you'll be able to finish it quicker, obviously. Uh, and I just want to make sure that everyone has enough time. Um, the way I came up with this amount of time is, uh, for one thing, in the past, students have taken this long, but maybe two out of, you know, 300. Um, but it's important to me that everybody has time. Um, anyway, the, if you were taking this course at the university, you would have three hours to complete the exam, and that is the length of time of a regular class period it will be three hours. You know, it's a three-hour course. So uh, I'll give you all of that time plus one to grow on because you have to type. So that's where you get four hours from. Don't be intimidated by the uh, amount of time, but go ahead and plan to have enough. So um, the exam is uh, covers weeks six to ten, like I said earlier. About 75% of it is short essay and think sentences with points. Uh, I'm not looking for an epic. Uh, just want, I just want to know if you know the material and if you thought about it. And after that, um, your opinion. And you can hear my baby daughter in the background. Um, I think that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm here for you. Um, the proctoring uh, service kind of separates us just a little bit, but I want you to know that I'm here for you, and I'll try to make this as uh, smooth as possible. I'm very interested in knowing and learning um, what you have to say about all these topics. So uh, thank you very much, and I will be uploading this and the lecture for week 10 uh, very shortly.